Speaker. Uh, members, uh, we've been down this road before a couple of times. Uh, just to refresh your memory, on the first day of session this year, we had a, an amendment to the temporary rules uh, with, with the same language as the uh, amendment that you have before you. Uh, and in simple terms, the amendment said that we should not act in the legislature on constitutional amendments until we've done our primary job, which is to balance the budget. Uh, Representative Dean on the first day uh, responded and stood up, and it was a Thiessen motion, but Representative Dean stood up and said that we should follow the uh, process, we should go to the Rules Committee, the Rules Committee would adopt permanent rules. The place to deal with this kind of issue was in the Rules Committee. Um, and we did that. The, uh, the amendment was offered to the proposed permanent rules. Uh, there was a Banyan attempt to amend uh, the rule, and uh, after a couple of procedural maneuvers, that ultimately didn't go on, uh, and the amendment didn't go on in the Rules Committee. We came to the floor, and uh, when we took up the permanent rules, I offered this language. Same thing. We shouldn't be offering and dealing with constitutional amendments in the legislature until we do our first and foremost job, which is to balance the budget. And when we offered that on the floor the day we took up the permanent rules, Representative Dean said that we should vote against it. He said that I was the only one who was bringing up constitutional amendments and social issues, that the Republicans weren't doing it and didn't have any intention of doing it. And so the, the amendment was defeated. Now, Yesterday, I'm sure many people know, uh, members of the other chamber uh, had a press conference and introduced a bill that would propose a constitutional amendment to ban same-sex marriage in Minnesota. Representative Gottwald was a participant, and it hasn't been introduced today, uh, but I expect it will be based on the comments from the senators soon. Today we have a bill introduction from Representative Kiffmeyer, a constitutional amendment to require a Representative Winkler, ID. one second. Members, please, if you could, take your conversations to the alcove, please, or even better yet, the retiring room, so that all members are able to hear the floor debate. Thank you, Representative Winkler. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'll try to speak up a little bit, too. Uh, the, uh, so today we have in the bill introductions a constitutional amendment on a very divisive issue, a partisan issue regarding photo ID. Now, some might say it shouldn't be partisan, uh, but it is. And it has nothing to do with balancing the budget. It has nothing to do with jobs. It has nothing to do with families and their security. It has nothing to do with anything except elections. And it has no bearing whatsoever on the budget that we are supposed to balance. Now, if we were making good progress towards balancing the budget, I suspect this would be a different issue. But from what I've been able to discern, we're not making any progress towards balancing the budget. Uh, we had questions on the floor yesterday about whether co uh, conference committees had received budget targets from leadership, and I believe the answer was either no or it was a non-answer. Today in the State Government Finance Committee, we asked about whether the state government conferees had received a target from their leadership, and the answer was no. The answer was that we're busy with policy this week, that we have a deadline coming up, so we don't have time to deal with the budget and conference committees and negotiation. We have to do other things. Members, it's a mistake. We've got 26 days. A lot, a lot can happen in 26 days, but we're not moving at all. Instead, what we're doing is, is seeing introductions of constitutional amendments, policy bills that, while important, certainly aren't job number one, and we've got, I, I'm afraid that we are uh, heading, uh, not for a cliff, but heading for a brick wall on May 23rd without really accomplishing very much. So members, I would ask that you support this motion. Um, it takes 90 votes to amend the rules on the floor. Uh, it should be pretty easy to amend, those, to amend the rules. In an effort to make it even easier, uh, Mr. Speaker, I'd like to offer, I'd like to incorporate an amendment to this motion. And uh, it'll be easy. Re Representative Winkler, state your oral amendment to your motion. And Mr. Speaker, on line 1.8, starting with the sentence uh, during and striking the rest of the amendment. And what that would mean, members, is that this year, until we have enacted a balanced budget, we can't take action on any constitutional amendments. 
I'm striking the language that would prohibit us from doing it next year if there's a deficit. So what the, as amended, and as I incorporate this, um, as amended, the, the rule would simply say that as long as we have not balanced the budget, we, should, we will not take any action on a constitutional amendment. And uh, members, that's pretty simple. It's about priorities. It's about doing first things first. It's about not getting confused once we actually get to the Capitol in St. Paul about what our job is. Our job is to balance the budget. So members, I would ask uh, for your support. And Mr. Speaker, I would request a roll call.